Hi guys, Mark again. Uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on with the rig. Um, when last I left you, I was going to try to get all six cards running and hashing. I got up to five cards running and hashing, and they were hashing pretty good, about 450, 455 uh, kilo hashes each. And um, I had them hashing for about a half hour. I came back to wake up the the uh, wake up the system, see how everything was going. That's when I saw sparks shoot out of the mud board. Um, I apparently melted part of the motherboard. Now, as you can see, I've got standard PCI uh, 1X to 16X uh, cables on all these cards. I've gone away from the powered risers because I've heard of just too many issues, problems with powered risers. Um, and, of course, I sent the motherboard back. And instead, I went ahead and got a motherboard specifically designed supposedly for mining um i got the asrock h81 pro btc now the btc of course stands for bitcoin but of course unless you've got uh really good asic hardware bitcoin mining is just not um uh, cost effective so it's going to be for litecoin or dogecoin or whatever coin you want to uh crypto coin you want to try to mine uh i've also got the intel pentium processor now it's the G3220 LGA1150. Now that's a dual core processor, but it's the cheapest processor you can get for this motherboard. And I like dual core. It seems to me give you a little bit of um, overhead. So we'll see how that works out. Now what I like about this motherboard is it's about half the size as the old uh, GA990. Uh, it's also very simple. You've got your five PCI 1X ports and of course a PCI X16 port. Um, you've got two four pin Molex uh, connectors both here and here. Uh, they provide extra power for the board and uh, uh, for the uh, video cards as well. So I'm hoping I don't melt this board. Um, kind of also neat, uh, something you hardly ever see is a parallel port on a motherboard. But there it is. Also, you've got the PS2 ports. Uh, I don't think you can buy PS2 hardware anymore. But you've got two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and you've got an integrated video. Um, makes me wonder if maybe I could use it. Probably not. I might play around with that when I'm really, really bored. Um, and you've got two USB... 3.0 and USB 6.0. Um, not really going to come into play because I'm going to be running Ubuntu off of the USB 2.0 port um, off a thumb drive. Uh, also, I noticed when this rig was running five cards, I was pulling right at about a thousand watts. Uh, the sixth card would have put it probably at around, oh, probably around 1200, 1225, something like that. Now my power supply that I was hoping to run off of all this was is only goes up to 1275. And I don't want to push it that close to the upper limit of that power supply. Um, I like to try to use an 80% rule with power supplies, only use 80% of the rated power. Uh, it's just a good rule of thumb for me. I'm, a, I'm an electrician by trade, so uh, that way you're not pushing it. If you do need any little, little bit of overhead, it's there, and, uh, you know, that's 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 my belief. Um, so I went ahead and got a secondary uh, power supply. It's a 700-watt Rosewell power supply. Uh, I also got this little sucker here, too. too. It's um, an Add to PSU uh, little chip, and you go ahead and plug the primary into that Molex, and you plug the secondary motherboard uh, connector into that Molex there, and whenever your primary PSU comes on, it'll turn on your secondary automatically. Um, the only thing I don't like about the power supply, but I was kind of expecting it, is that this thing has all of its video cards or vi video cables hardwired into the power supply. It's not a big deal. I mean, the power supply was fairly, uh, fairly cheap. I, I think I spent 50 bucks on it, but, um, it's just, uh, you know, you know, you know, you just deal with it. 
So, let's go ahead and throw this all together and uh, see what happens.